it's, it's been rescheduled twice now. It's for cervical cancer. And um, so it's kind of frustrating because like, I don't, I just want it out of my body. I just want to be done with this. As hospitals prepare for an influx of patients for the COVID-19 pandemic, elective surgeries, even ones to treat cancer are being rescheduled, throwing many people into a waiting game. But for Alyssa Dennis, she will have to be the most patient of patients. This is day 24 that I've been in isolation. I'm extremely high risk because I have lupus, um, a couple of other autoimmune diseases, um, cervical cancer. And for my lupus, I'm actually on chemotherapy, oral chemotherapy for that. So um, it means that um, like my immune system just isn't good. After several surgeries, a hysterectomy is the last step to rid her of cervical cancer. While it's technically still on the books for May 1st, her doctor says expect that to change, which is tough to hear when you know you have a cancer, even a slow growing one, inside you. They don't know if it has gone into my lymph nodes or not. And they'll find out like, um, I guess on the operating table was the plan. Um, and like, it's not the doctor's fault. It's not HS's fault. It's just the situation sucks. On top of the uncertainty of her cancer treatment, doctors say she is facing upwards of four months of complete isolation because with an underlying lung disease and lupus, the coronavirus could kill her. I haven't had a hug in a long time except for my dog. So I it's like, dog. yeah, I, I would be like going bonkers right now if it wasn't for my dog. But it's also through the help of friends family and complete strangers that Alyssa knows she and all of us can get through this together. 25 people um, like volunteers, just random people that I don't know help me out. Through the leftovers YYC movement, she even received a birthday cake for her big day Saturday. Planning like a Zoom party kind of thing like I'll, you know, just sit and chat with whoever comes by and kind of keep busy. Her advice to those out there having a tough time in isolation so far don't focus on the long term focus on like each day and like have a, a schedule in calgary tara overholt city news